Now students, let us understand the mechanism of muscle contraction. Okay. Muscle contraction. Mechanism. This is also known as sliding filament theory. Now, imagine it, this is a neuron. Okay. This is a neuron. This is a cell body. I am not drawing the dendrites. Okay. Now, this is a motor neuron. Okay. It will end having synaptic bulbs. Okay, and here we have a muscle fiber. Okay, this is a muscle. Okay, now imagine that the zoom out this portion, zoom out this portion. This is a synapse between the neuron and the muscle. Okay. Now what will happen when acetylcholine will come and open from the synaptic bulbs, it will go into the, uh, the, the plasma membrane of this muscle. Okay. So, uh, and this junction between the motor neuron and the sarcolemma of the muscle fiber is called the neuromuscular junction. Okay. So the uh, acetylcholine will cause the neuromuscular junction. Okay. This is your neuromuscular junction. Now, a neural signal reaching this junction releases the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. Okay, acetylcholine will obviously come and that will generate an action potential in the sarcolemma. Now what is what was sarcolemma? Sarcolemma means nothing but the plasma membrane of the muscle fiber. Okay. Imagine this portion to be your sarcolemma. Okay. Sarcolemma. Now, what will happen? the action potential will now spread throughout the muscle fiber and cause release of calcium ions from the into the from the sarcoplasmic reticulum to the sarcoplasm okay calcium release from sarcoplasmic Reticulum to sarcoplasm. Okay. Now, what will happen of this? Uh, calcium level obviously will increase. Now, this calcium will go and bind to troponin. You remember troponin? Troponin had three parts. I, T and C. This calcium will bind to this C portion of the troponin. Okay. Now, when it binds to the troponin, the sites for attachment of myosin to the actin
वो पेन साहब ओके सो व्हाट विल हैपन आई एम क्लियरिंग द फ्रेम नाउ एक्टिंग सॉरी नॉट एक्टिंग माय सीन विल गो एंड बाइंड to acting forming a cross bridge so what is this so let i have to draw the diagram to make it understand to you see imagine this to be what it all is imagine this to be your acting for a moment okay this is your acting imagine for a moment okay this is your acting okay now myosin was a globe had a globular head myosin will be something like this okay now this myosin first step this myosin will go and bind to the acting forming a cross bridge this is what is happening here see this was your myosin myosin is attaching to the actin so first step is cross bridge formation okay this was the cross bridge formation now let us come to the second step what will happen in the second step this is known as the power stroke now in this what will happen imagine this is your actin now this myosin which had earlier attached to the actin will move in this direction okay and it will pull the actin to this direction okay so what will happen the act myosin will look somewhat like this now it has already given the power stroke sorry in this step you have to very very careful that the myosin is all is not detached from the actin it is attached it will be attached to the uh, act myosin during this step the actin and myosin during the power stroke in the power stroke step they will be attached to one another okay but the thing is it has already pulled the the myosin has already pulled the actin in this direction okay and in this step some important things also happen adp is released pi is released okay now let us come to the third step now in third step what happens cross bridge detachment
Now, after the ATP attaches to the myosin, the link between the myosin and the actin weakens and the myosin head detaches. Okay. So, let me draw the diagram how it looks like. If this is your actin, this will be your myosin. Okay, so this will be your myosin. Okay, now let us come to the food step. Now, in the fourth step, what happens? This is known. The fourth step is known as octin of myosin head. Now, what is cocking? Cocking means it again getting erected. Okay. Okay. Now you already remember that the myosin head, this is your myosin head, globular head, this globular head had ATP, ATP binding site and myosin binding site. So ATP, it again comes. comes and binds here as ATP is hydrolyzed to ADP and PI The myosin head returns to its pre-strike pre high energy state. Are you getting students what I am saying? See, during the detachment also, the, my, the globular head was like this. Okay, the globular head was like this. But after, in the fourth step, what, it, what is happening? In the fourth step, the head is getting something like this. Okay, it is getting again cropped up. Okay, so that in the again, after the fourth step, what will happen? After the fourth step, we will go to the step again. The step one will come back. So, if it is going back to its energized state, what will happen again in step 1? In step 1, again it will bind to the actin because to bind to the actin, this is required. This high energy state is required. Okay. So that was all about how muscle contractions takes place. Thank you students.